I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll be honest. Okay, copy this. Is anybody out there? Hmm. Okay, let's see. So let's do this. You know, because I'd really like to do live streams, like a live stream office hours, but I really just have no idea what I'm doing. Content. Okay, well, I think I am. I think I am live. Privacy is on this. Concurrent viewers are none. There's a concurrent viewer. Okay. So I guess this does is on. Okay. Good connection. So it says my video stream was too high. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, private. Okay, thanks. So how do I turn that off? Which is Oh, excellent. It works. So does it look okay? Does it sound okay? What if I switch? What if I switch to the paper, so I can use my paper right here, and I can turn on my camera while I have my paper on. I can turn off my camera, go back to the computer. I can see it's a little slow. It's not quite live. Boo, baba, booey, ooey. Okay, well, I'm going to post this to Twitter. So do you think it's working okay, or can you recommend any improvements? Let's just post it to Twitter. Let's just see what happens.
I'm not really a live streamer. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so someone is in the chat, and I know that person, uh, so that's that. Uh, I think I'm going to, while I'm waiting for people to come on and ask questions. Um, I'm going to go over some of my sketches just for fun. So one of the things that I do is I draw things in keynote apple keynote and so this is my uh older file and i thought i would just go through and just talk about some of the pictures and if you have a question you say the question in the chat or online or some other way and then we see what happens okay so this is i'm not sure and i don't really know what all these pictures are for because i i made them a while ago and i forget this one i know are i was doing something with stars and so this this is on the left that's um, out in the, in the wilderness looking at the stars. And then this is in my backyard, and you can see the, the difference. Um, so that's that. Okay, let's go to the next, next page. Um, I think I just, this was making a, uh, a thumbnail for a video about the starship landing. That must be what is that is. This is uh, this is a Deadpool post. So I did a, a post. I think I did a post on, uh, you know, how how a Deadpool have to time it to fall into this thing. Um, but hold on, I'm 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 typing in at the same time. Okay. Um, so we got that one. That's the same. That's also from the Deadpool post. Uh, this is, I can't tell you what that was. Um, there are some things that are secret in here. Hopefully I won't, I won't show anything that's secret. This is just a calc in the gravitational field. I don't even know what that's for. Uh, projectile motion. I think I wrote a post a while ago about, yeah, how, what is a function in Python? And this was my... My box is my function. I don't, this is something sliding. I'm not sure what it was for. Again, this is a thumbnail uh, on, I made that for projectile motion. If you have a physics question and you type it in the chat, I'd probably answer it on paper even. Don't know what that is, just calculation stuff. Lagrangian, there's a Lagrangian down there. Uh, more. So I use, you know, I use, uh, Keynote is my equation editor too. So, you know, these are, these are, this is in latex, which is really nice because, you know, you can type it up in latex and then I can just copy that as an image, screen capture as an image. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a scalable image. You can make it as big as you want or small as you want. It's really nice. Uh, that's how I do most of my equations. Um, so, I don't know if that matters, but that's just what that is. Uh, more equations. Uh, pendulum. This is, I, I wrote, in, I think I wrote a, a blog post about uh, Lagrange, Lagrangian. Pretty sure that's what that is. Uh, here's another Lagrangian problem. Um, this, is, oh, this is a great grant. This is a great one. This is the, uh, the movable wedge um, problem. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to have, my idea is uh, to have a live stream. And every once in a while, maybe if it works out, it, I don't know. And people ask me physics questions, and I can answer physics questions, kind of like, you know, stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do this or not. I'm just trying out new things. Everyone likes to try new things, right? So this is a problem. Uh, I love this problem. It's Here's a wedge, and here's a block on the wedge. You let the, the block slide down, but the wedge moves, uh, and it's a great problem. I want to do this in real life. I was thinking about making um, 
a, a like a inclined track that can slide and putting a car on it and, and measuring measuring the velocity of both of these things as a function of time i just think it'd be fun more equations um I'm trying to think what i was doing here this looks definitely like lagrangian stuff and i think what i did was i was trying to figure out a mistake i made so i had a picture of my work right there that's probably what happened And that's the that's the moving wedge problem again. That was I made that for the top image of the blog post just because you know you want some image up there, and I didn't want to use the same picture I had before. Uh, the, this is this is the thumbnail for how to make a microphone from a drill. Uh, if you missed this in an episode of MacGyver, he wants to listen into another room. He takes a drill and uses that as a microphone. And you know the idea was I thought the idea would work fine. Uh, because it's a coil of wire and uh, a magnet, and that's what a that's what a microphone's made out of. I didn't think it actually worked. When I tried it, it actually worked, and I was super impressed with myself and like that. Um, that's the picture. This was for I don't remember, but it definitely has to do with electric charge. Uh, I don't remember why I wrote that though. Hmm. Electric fields, magnetic fields, gravitational fields. You know, I don't remember everything I make, uh, but I do like my pictures. I really like making pictures in Keynote because I, I like the way they look. And once you get the hang of how do you make something, you know, what, how do you know how to use that tool? If I know how to make objects and group objects and arrange them, then I can do it really quickly. I like that. Keynote. These are all drawn in Keynote. Um, looks great. This was for the... Uh, catenary cable. Uh, what's the equation for the path that this cable hangs? Uh, and so I drew that. I, I think I made. I think I wrote this. Made this as a video, and then I made it as a blog post too. How how do you use it to edit on slides like that? Is it some? Yeah. So this software is uh, Keynote with Apple. So if you have uh, Mac OS, then I think Keynote's free now. And so it's it's the PowerPoint version of the presentation software, but it's for Mac. And uh, so it has LaTeX support in there. So if I, you know, I can edit these equations as LaTeX. Um, I think I think uh, Google Docs does LaTeX in a way. It's not as good as this. In the past, there was another program that I used. It was called LaTeXit, and it was just a standalone equation editor that I could create an image from. For the equation so all the equations in my blog post are just images and uh and this is where they come from i write them in here just because that's the easiest way for me to do it there's some other latex editors uh that you can use if you don't have mac i just don't know what they are because you know once you find what works for you you stick with it you know things like this i always forget how do you do oh, i remember how to do it now integrals and you I always have to look up different uh functions in latex that i forget uh but matrices, I can never remember how to do a matrix. I always have to Google that. But that's what Google's for, right? Okay, let's see. Oh, the, the, I love this picture. So this is from uh, The Expanse. And I was trying to draw, you know, I don't want to use the picture from the the show. So I want to draw my own picture. So this is the, what was it, the Razorback, uh, the really fast ship. And this is the uh, the Belter ship. And they were connected together, and it was flying apart. Spoiler alert! It was flying apart, and Bobby was holding on to that. And so I, you know, it's hard to get a, to draw that. So it, you get the idea that it is that same spaceship, but it's not the spaceship, because I don't want to do all the detail. In this case, it's kind of hard to see exactly what the ship looks like. So I, I got a screen capture of the actual show, uh, so you can kind of guess what it looks like. The Razorback was pretty easy to draw. That one, not so much, but. I think I did an okay job. I mean, as an artist. Yeah, I think Keynote is better than Google Slides. I mean, except that Google Slides works on everything and Keynote only works on, well, it does work, Keynote does work on the phones too, on an iPhone. I've never used it on a phone or an iPad. I just use it on the computer. But I love the, the graphic, the vector graphic drawing tools in there. Uh, I just think it makes nice images. And so just about every image that you see in my blog post that I do is done with Keynote. And I've been doing it that way for a long time. 
So all the, this is still in Keynote. Now, okay, now this is cheating, right? Because that is not Keynote. That's actually a, a screen capture from vPython. I really love vPython for drawing stuff. It's great for drawing stuff um, and making animations. So I, I should I should make a I should make a slide of the things I've drawn with vPython GlowScript. Uh, for instance, I am uh, I, I remember making a Tie Fighter, the Millennium Falcon, uh, other stuff like that. Inkscape, yeah, that's a good one. And I think the key thing is that you find a tool that you're good with and then you stick with your tool because you don't want to have to learn how to do that particular tool. You want to just go with it, right? You want to you want to say, I don't want to learn how to draw this object. I want to make the object. So once you get good with your particular software, then you stick with that. I've been using Keynote for more than 10, 10 years, so I know how to do it. Okay, I'm afraid I'm going to get to something that we can't show, but I haven't gotten there yet. This is a... Um, what did I write this for? But this is a, uh, a hydraulic piston. So just, you know, you have a, a, a part with a thin area and a part with a thick area, and that's how hydraulics work. I don't remember what I wrote that for. Um, this is just answering a question. Yeah, and the export part, there's a question. Uh, I, I just use screen captures all the time. So I just I can do a, a screen grab like this, and then I can grab part of it the part that I want and capture it and then it goes wherever I want. It's just fast. I like it. You can't see that. You saw it, but you, I didn't tell you what it was. Um, that, I don't remember. Oh, this is for the, uh, I just wrote this. This is for, I, I love this blog post. Uh, what is the angle that a balloon tilts in the wind versus the angle that a kite tilts in the wind? I had a lot of fun writing that because it was from the XKCD book the Random Monroe book, uh, How To, which was a great book. Here's the kite. Uh, this is uh, binary star orbits. There's binary stars. Sound. I don't remember what that was for. This is for finding the electric field due to a charge distribution. Um, that was a test question <laughs> um, for my class. Yeah, I think... If the free stuff I like a lot, uh, GIMP is really good f for sure. But again, you know, you find something that you're good with. This is a, and again, this is a great diagram here. This is an electric field due to a dipole. I made this in uh, GlowScript vPython. So it's, I calculate it. And, and then I just made a screen capture. And then you can add titles on it and stuff like that in Keynote. What, oh, this is, did I already write about this? I think I did. So this is why, why are constellations upside down in the Southern Hemisphere? Uh, and they're not, but, you know, this is wrong. This was making, here's a combination. I wanted to find the, uh, illustrate the areas under curves. So this graph right here, this object is actually a screen capture from vPython. And then I drew on top of it, see the, the shaded part. So I can make a nice shaded uh, graph worked. I have a ton of graphs. I like that one too. Uh, this one I like too. This is, uh, if you haven't seen that, that's my truck. Wait. No, that's, that's, uh, that's the van. We have a van. I put some two, uh, some tapes and markers on top of it and I use my drone to drive the van and record a video so I could get the position as a function of time. I had a great time. And I, in fact, was driving and flying at the same time. But it's in a parking lot, so it's okay. And I'm really, the, the drone just stayed there, right? I just got it up to the right altitude and let it go. I love drones. This is my backyard. There's a plane. This says it equals mc squared. Was oh, that it? That's weird. Did I get, did I miss stuff at the top? Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is it says winter 2020 sketches. So I started it in the winter. Um, I have other uh, older files too, but they get too long. Look, I'm already at 68 slides. And so at some point I'm like, yeah, I'll just start a new slide. And one, one of the things I find I do is I will capture, I'll like draw a stick figure in a previous picture and then copy it and use it down there. So I keep the same thing. Okay, let's see. No one has a physics question. 
I think overall, if, if there's any questions about like, I mean, let me know if the quality is okay because this is the first time I've ever done this. Um, and I, you know, I'm trying to read comments and stuff too at the same time. I've never done live streaming before. I kind of like it. I'm trying to see if I should show you something else. Actually, I have some work to do. I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'll just stop here. Maybe if this does work, let me know uh, later if there's some things that you want to see. Maybe I can find some scheduled time uh, during the, you know, maybe once a week when I schedule this, if it works out, I don't know. I just like to always try new things. So, but it also gives me a chance to answer questions and stuff. So I actually do have to do some editing real quick. So I think I am going to stop and, but thank you for helping me test this out. I appreciate that. And we'll do it again sometime. I have to find a good time, but okay. I'm going to go.